So I got a question on my notification video about what it might look like for a larger scale notification system to work where users are subscribing to content. And so I thought this was an interesting question and I wanted to kind of just go over it in a video, some of my thoughts on it. Now, the example that we're gonna take a look at today is basically the YouTube model. So YouTube has a couple things. I have basically a layout right here of what I think is just like a basic structure of YouTube. And to basically set up a notification system that is similar to YouTube, we don't have to do anything that's super complex. We can keep it pretty simple and get pretty much almost the same effect uh, as YouTube has. So we're gonna take a look at that. Uh, so if we look at how we talked about in the notification video, how this might work, we'll see where we're gonna run into a problem. So uh, if we release a video and we have a ton of subscribers, 1 million plus, uh, that would mean we would send 1 million notifications slash we would uh, create 1 million rows in our table to store all those notifications. And this would happen every time a video is released. So every time a video is released, we are putting millions and millions of rows in our database. And this may be a necessary evil that YouTube has to do, uh, but there's a way that we can get around it. Um, and we're gonna look at that today is how we can get around basically not storing just a ton of notifications in our database if we don't have to. So to start off, we're gonna go over the basic structure of what YouTube's database may look like um, at a simple level. So there is four basic things. Uh, excluding all the other features. There are users, there are subscriptions, channels, and videos. Uh, and I'm notice with the subscription, the user ID is connected to a user, channel ID is connected to a channel, and then for every single video, a video is connected to a single channel like that. So at the very basic level, if I wanted to get all the videos for all the channels I'm subscribed to, all I would do is I would join across all these tables, right? And so that would get me all the videos that I'm subscribed to for those channels. But that's not really the query that you see on uh, YouTube's homepage at least. You see all the videos that are new for the channels you're subscribed to, right? And so, so basically how do you get that new option? So with our old model, we would create these notifications for new videos but how can we decide what videos are new and that we have not seen uh, before? So the idea is instead of creating, whenever a new video is re released, creating a million notifications, and those one million objects are now new, and we have like a red field on them, instead we can just keep a date. Uh, in this date, either we can put on the subscribe table, or maybe we can store it in local storage. It really depends on how you want it to work. Uh, but basically, you want to know when's the last time you visited the channel, not necessarily the channel, but looked at the subscribe page for that channel, or at least the latest videos for that channel. Uh, and so the idea is, if you know the date, you can look, at, look up all the videos that were released after that date. So adding this last visited key onto this subscribe table, or storing it, for example, in local storage, if you don't really need it on the uh, database side, uh, it could be a viable option, but for example, YouTube has an app and a website and it keeps the data in sync. So if I've seen all the videos for a particular user or a particular channel, uh, it's gonna know that when I open up the YouTube app or go to the website, vice versa. So they have probably have something like this stored in their database. And basically, whenever I leave YouTube site, I could mark what the date is, uh, and then whenever I revisit YouTube, what it does is it does a query and it says grab all the videos from all the channels I'm subscribed to. So the same query we just talked about where we join across all these tables um, and then only grab the videos that I haven't seen since I last visited. So that's the key is keeping this last visit on this, uh, on this guy. Uh, and that way you're just seeing all the new videos. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of a content model, and this is generic to where it really would work for any content model. Basically, you want to keep when's the last time you have seen content uh, and then fetch all the content that has been released since a particular date. Uh, so any kind of model like that where users are subscribing to things, 
This is one way where you can avoid creating tons of objects in your database every time a piece of content is created. Instead of that, you can just keep track of when that particular user has uh, seen it. Anyway, those are my thoughts on how you might architect something like this. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if there's a better way to even do than what I've suggested or if you have any ideas to expand upon this.